Not sure how to get your curls healthy and happy with volume, definition, and moisture? Well, by the end of this video, you'll know all the tips and tricks to be able to rock your luscious curls. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every week on all things health, fitness, and lifestyle related. Welcome back to my channel, y'all. It's your girl, Sonia. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, then hello and welcome. So I'm a certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist, Latin dance lover, and a passport-ready curly hair girl. And if you tuned into my last video, I showed you my curly hair routine. However, however, my curls did not always look like this. So keep watching to see my journey and the top tips I recommend so you can start your journey too. Once upon a time in a galaxy far, far away, I was born. No, but for real, uh, I'm going to try to incorporate as many photos as possible. Keep in mind, I did not get on Facebook until 2005 when I was going into college because at that point in time, you needed a college email address to be able to have Facebook. So a lot of the stuff from high school, middle school, it's back at my parents' house. I have a few baby photos that I could share, but a lot of that stuff is going to be post-college for demonstration purposes. So when I was younger, my mother thankfully was able to do my hair. She would put it in the cutest little styles. Everything was great. It wasn't until middle school when I was left to do my own hair and I didn't have a clue on how to take care of curly hair. So I was stuck with the standard low ponytail with a headband on top of my head. Fast forward into middle school, eighth grade, I came across my very first flat iron. It was probably the cheapest thing and the worst thing that you could put your hair through. I never used heat protectant, y'all, so I was literally just frying my hair. I would also use box dyes and my hair was just on a continuous basis up until high school straightening it. I would wake up at five o'clock in the morning just to do my hair, y'all. Yeah. So in high school, about my junior year, I started to wear my hair naturally curly. However, I was using all the wrong products, the wrong kinds of shampoos and conditioners, the wrong styling products. And it was just, my curls were just not what's up at all. When I went to college, I decided to chop off majority of my hair because I did not want to have to deal with getting ready for class. So I did a huge chop and in college, I would rock long and short hair and both curly and straight, still the same thing, was using all kinds of wrong products. And it wasn't up until I moved to Chicago about seven years ago in 2013, where I started doing a little bit more investigating in terms of products. So I switched to all natural products and then was still straightening my hair, still having issues with dyeing my hair, straightening it, not using the correct styling products. So the actual day that I decided to go on my healthy hair journey was back in May of 2016. It was the last time I had straightened my hair and it was for a bodybuilding competition that I was participating in. After that, I was on a journey just to be able to get my natural hair and curl pattern back. So I did extensive research. I was like, what is my hair type? What is the porosity? What is the curl pattern? What is, is it fine? Is it coarse? I did all this research to figure out how to specifically take care of my 3B curls. So. Through the process of trial and error, I was able to find out what products, what styling products, what styling methods work best for me. I'm so thankful to be able to share with you these tips and tricks that I personally use to be able to go from damaged, beyond damaged curly hair to having luscious curls. And now I'm going to share my top tips with you. 
Tip number one, I am going to strongly recommend you minimize the use of heat. And when I say heat, I mean flat iron specifically. I still use my diffuser when I'm drying my hair, but in terms of actually straightening it, I would highly recommend minimizing the amount of times you straighten your hair or have excess heat on it because heat damage is real and that is a surefire way to have damaged hair. Number two is all about products. Switch your shampoos and conditioners to sulfate, paraben, and silicone free. But also keep in mind the kinds of styling products that you're using, depending on your hair type, is gonna be dependent on what you should be doing. The third tip would be to deep condition. So when I was in my healthy hair journey, I legit marked off my Friday nights because that was the night where I would do a deep conditioner. For the longest time, I was using Shea Moisture Manuka Honey deep conditioner with coconut oil and then putting it in my hair using a heat cap, a therma cap, so it could penetrate the hair a lot more intensely. I would do that on a weekly basis. Now, not so much. I would like to get back into it. I would probably do it now maybe like once a month, um, but weekly deep conditioners are going to really help, especially with the new growth on top, just to keep the hair healthy and moisturized. Number four, get regular trims. Personally, for me, I never did the big chop when I was doing my actual healthy hair journey. Um, I would just get my normal trims. Honestly, I only did it twice a year. That's how often I get my trims. But if a big chop is something you're considering, it's gonna help tremendously because at the end of the day, the dead hair, the dead damaged hair is going to need to be cut off. So if you decide to do the big chop or just to do regular trims, either way, we gotta get rid of that hair. And number five, the biggest one here is your actual diet. So we've heard it before, time and time again, you are what you eat and it is very true. Making sure you're eating foods that are nutritionally dense and full of antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins is going to be the best way to make sure your hair and your skin and nails grow healthy from the inside out. So now you know the key tips to transition from damaged to healthy curly hair. So you could have that voluminous, well-defined, and moisturized locks that you've long desired for, but what about how to start from the inside out? So I'll be telling you the top foods I incorporate in my diet to get healthy and happy curls, skin, and body. If you want more tips on health, fitness, and lifestyle, be sure to follow me on Instagram at Sonia L. Robinson. Check out the next video to know the top foods to incorporate in your diet that could help you on your healthy hair journey. Be sure to like and subscribe so you are in the know and share with any other curly hair queen. Love y'all. Be great.